Appreciate it, East Side. East St. Louis in the middle. Good morning, man. This our shit, though. I got you, man. Our little brothers invite us this out to get their money. How much money is this? Whoever win, get it off. Who you calling for? Murray. Uh, got you a lead or something? That bomb. <laughs> we ain't paying them shit this time. Charge 200, you know what I'm saying, to get in. We got like 10 teams. About 10 teams, 12, including us and Dirty. They don't know how much money somewhere with between 1,000 and 1,500. That's good liquor Dirty money. Dirty don't never yeah. pay. He just ganked me out of tournaments. <laughs> he ain't paid for nothing we didn't through. Nothing. Get that money. It's one big gamble. Well, I never forget the first year that nigga got in that tournament. <laughs> that nigga, that, that niggas got two in Q. We tried to call Murph for the money. What talking about, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. We out. <laughs> it's over now, shit. What you want me to do? That's why that shit's so fun. One, two, three. Squad up. Get that, get that. Well, the history for me and Nelly was we played baseball all our life, basically. And our um, our high school coach, Mr. Hoskins, had a softball team for Squad One Sports. And he was like, man, come play softball. Come play softball. We like, man, that's a girl sport. We ain't come play no softball. Hey, yo, did you scoot back off the plate? I'm fed. Then I'm cold. <laughs> I'm cold. Me and Nelly played with Squad One Sports. Murph was kind of too young to play. Then a couple of years down the line, Murph started playing. There you go, right here. It's gonna put about six right here. Just cut it right down. Murph has a, a thing, a thing about his growing up where he'd been under us so long that he always wanted to start his own little thing. You know you right. He's a grown ass man, as he would say. I'm probably just playing for somebody else's team. Me and Nelly end up going to another team and um, getting with a group of guys from the north side. So Murph went to the team that we used to play on, him and Big Grip. So he started getting a lot of clock and a lot of clock, and then he started getting money after getting a lot of clock, so he decided to get his own team called the Young Dudes. You used to play third. You ain't got a bad club, bro. You just can't play. That shot's not that he's over with. Let that shit go. 260. And you ain't no short stop. You like Terry Pendleton now. So I got to put you on the way. You just step one side this way and that way. That's my baseball name is Chicken. You got to move and go pick up some. All oh, that shit is good. You got all that tight shit on there. You want to stretch out. Uh, my name is uh, Jeter. 
AKA the baddest Q dog in St. Louis. Socks, Papa Socks. When I start all over, man. Fuck with these niggas. Fuck you forfeiting your own turn. Yeah, uh, How the fuck you don't know when the game is and you made up the motherfucking time? I think Nelly made people nervous. These niggas is out their own tournament, two and Q. Two and Q is when you get in a tournament and if you lose two games, you out the tournament. And you think I'm gonna pay these niggas? We need a goose egg! A goose egg is when you don't get no points. Goose egg, three in a row. Go out the bat, out. We not paying them shit. Goose egg! Get two means stop being lazy, come out the box, and try to get a double. You might not get it. Who said he was fast? Young dude, have it in! You can score from second. Because that game, it might go short game. You can win by 10 runs after the fifth inning. Look, bitch! Right at you! Short game is definitely a, a big motivation. You got it, What are you doing? You gotta barbecue and watch because you out the tournament. Two and Q. Tournament is a tournament that happens every year the second weekend of September. A total of like 175 teams. So imagine somebody who could have went to the league and now they're hitting an the underhand ball. You know, it's kind of dangerous actually. The greatest thing about the world is that's what really you're working all year for is to get ready for that. So you do your trades just like regular baseball. You do your, you ain't on my team no more. You know, you have a roster. That game shows some fortitude, some nuts. A lot of spirit, a lot of heart. A lot of people come out to get us because we do rap and they think because you rap, then you don't have to do nothing else. Or they, you know, they always bring up your job on the, on the field, but we can take it. It's all good. If you lose two games, you out the tournament. Feel free to hate on me. Hate on me.
Take one of your belts you got. Put that belt around there real tight and you can get it. Right? Take that motherfucker, put it in a bucket of water for a day and a half, about a day and a half. Pull that motherfucker out, let it dry. If you want it faster, put it in the dry. But if you can wait about a week or two, let that motherfucker just sit out in the sun and let it dry. Put that motherfucker crisco oil in that bitch. And that motherfucker feel like that in a week. I promise you. you just Nigga, that girl was brand new. Damn. Damn, I've been white boys see this. Yeah. I see white boys talking now like, damn, you're giving away our shit. This one of my new recruits, he might not make the team, but we don't know this Paul Wall, man, he from Houston, you know what I'm saying? He's uh, he a token white boy, but he cool. He cool, he, he from way down in Peeble. What's up? You know, we don't hey, know Perryville, Missouri, whatever he is, but it's Paul Wall, the people's champ. Most of the world don't know about Red Hot, now you wouldn't know about it, man. From the I got them extra hot ones now. Them now we gotta get back and ready. I rip you from the same way we can. You got me fucked up. That's nothing. Bro, man, that's nothing. I'm from St. Louis, man. Got me fucked up. Mm-hmm. Why do I want to know what happened then? Get the fuck out of here. You see that? Old Vienna of what? Of St. Louis, goddammit. Real hot ribs, hot barbecue flavor ribs. St. Louis style hot sauce, you dig? Made with real, made with real St. Louis style hot sauce. Say how these motherfuckers look. What? See that shit? See that ain't a good one. My partner Herker straight throw them off on the whole bag away because of this one chip. Not having no sauce right there, nigga. These will kill you. Young dudes, don't mean y'all can snatch up every little young motherfucker, put them on y'all thing. Who in TV Land want to smoke? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>